Okay, here is a quick little walkthrough of how to use free tuning software with an OBD2 dongle um, and uh, flash an LS swap tune from your phone to use the PCM and the wiring harness that you already have for free from the junkyard uh, and be able to run it and turn off the anti-theft and all that kind of stuff. Alright, so this is Gearhead EFI. This is where you can find what you need to do this free tuning. Um, I was grabbing a bin file uh, because my donor truck was a four-wheel drive automatic uh, and I wanted a two-wheel drive five-speed bin. Um, so I had to look through a couple different years to find what I needed. Uh, but eventually I did get what I needed here. So two-wheel drive for a five-speed. There's one copy of it, and I also end up finding another copy, I do believe, just to uh, have something to check. Though there's my 816 speed four-wheel drive bin that I uploaded, because um, it's nice to have all this information on GearHead EFI, and if you have anything of value, um, go ahead and post it, because somebody else can use it. Um, you know, kind of one hand washes the other. See, here's exactly what I needed, two-wheel drive, 4.8, manual trans. Um, so then I could open up this bin in Tuner Pro and make the changes that I need to run for my swap. So I had to uh, turn off VATS and let's see, what am I doing here? Okay, yep, so I'm grabbing that bin that I wanted. Now I can turn off, oh, I'm selecting the XDF, so you got to match up the, uh, the OS XDF with the bin that you have. Um, and this XDF is for the, um, this specific one is the 2156 uh, XDF, so. Okay, what I'm doing here is turning off uh, power enrichment delays and changing the TPS percentage to 80% instead of 90. And uh, this way, instead of having a 60 second delay at 90%, so you'd have to have your throttle at 90% for longer than 60 seconds in order for PE to come on. So I changed that to a zero second delay and 80% throttle. So as soon as your TPS hits 80% throttle, you're in power enrichment. And what I was doing here is changing the air fuel ratio for power enrichment uh, to like 12 and a half. So uh, you've got a decent, decent amount of extra fuel uh, and you can add a little bit more spark that way too and still be safe. So what I'm doing here is uh, looking at the torque management, and since this was a 5-speed tune, uh, there was no torque management in it, which is good. Um, the automatics have torque management, which is one of the things that really kind of handcuffs the, the performance, but uh, my 6-speed truck was the same way. It had no torque management at all from the factory. Now here's, here's adding the, uh, the fan inputs, so I'm not sure if I'm actually going to run the dual fan setup controlled via the truck relay style, but the other thing I can do, which would be a lot cheaper than buying that relay setup, is to just run a single fan relay, and I'm probably going to run dual fans anyway, but run both fans on the same relay, and then uh, trigger both fans on the ground that's going to come from the, uh, the pin on the ECM here. I can put up which pin it is. Okay, number two, so I know it's a 4.8, transmission type is manual. Uh, yeah, so a four-cylinder tack output, I can make work with my six-cylinder tack and give me some more RPM on the readout. Since I'm going to spin this thing higher, that works perfect. So here's figuring out the uh, tire size of the truck that this came from and the total circumference. Then the circumference of a Beretta tire, uh, figure the difference, and then change the pulses per mile, which should make the speedometer accurate. Uh, the, you know, so I can use the Beretta gauges and have an accurate speedometer. This I think should be good with the math that I have here, um, but if it's not, I can always tweak it a little bit later, find out what my error is, do some per easy percentages, and uh, and get that to work. 
Okay, just upload this up in speed limiter. Here we are saving a new copy of the bin. And what I'm doing here is uh, sending this bin file to my email that I can grab on my phone and then uh, tune it for my phone, flash the actual uh, calibration for my phone. Okay, so here's my computer flashing setup. This is my uh, flasher majig here. This is just a little harness uh, built from a blue connector on a P01 um, battery positive, battery negative. Uh, this is ignition. Then uh, it has it wired up for the OBD2 connector. I'll put a little diagram up on the screen uh, to show you exactly how to do that. Um, these two that I have here, this was a O2 Bank 1 Sensor 2, I think, and then the other one was like EGR because they were ways that I was trying to uh, dead log the wideband air fuel ratio on my truck and figure that out. But I couldn't get that to work. Uh, maybe sometime soon. But uh, easy to build a little harness here, and it bypasses all the CAN bus crap that can add noise on the, uh, the lines and make it tough to, to flash these. So I used to run this on an actual 12 volt battery. That's why I had the big uh, 3 8 ring terminals on it. Um, but I got this little AC adapter. Uh, I think it was from a baby swing or something, but it's 12 volt, 1.2 amp. Basically anything over one amp, you'll be in good shape and that's all you'll need. Uh, this OBD2 dongle, it's a Bluetooth deal. Um, I got this on Amazon a while ago. It's like 50 bucks. I think the newer versions though have had issues with the firmware not working with uh, LS Droid. So Pete Sontag or something is the guy's name. He's the one who did all the code for LS Droid and he is selling his own dongles now. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to some information on that. Um, where And I think they're about the same price too. Uh, and it'll be guaranteed to work with LS Droid. I think a new OBD Link LX won't work if I remember correctly. So the other part of this, just an Android phone. So we are going to turn on Bluetooth. Okay, Bluetooth is on. Uh, well, let's download the tune file while we're here. Let's see, save to device. Okay. And then we'll go into LS Droid. Okay. Let's read this one first. I'm going to take the stock tune off the one that I have. Yeah, got to turn it on. Yep, experimental. Okay, so this will take a minute, but it is reading the PCM right now. You can see the Bluetooth thing on there. So the OS on this one is 1344. It's not one I recognize. But I did want to download this bin just so I have something uh, to fall back on. I'm assuming the injector data and all that stuff is going to be the same as that one I downloaded in the, uh, the clip before this. But this is an easy way to check and make sure that, uh, you know, the injector data that's coming off the, the computer that came with the harness and everything that you got matches up. There we go. Took a couple tries for some reason, but here we are on the PCM read. And it does take a little bit, so I'm not going to bore you with this. But you can see the binary data in the background. 69%. Nice. Getting there. Okay, all done. So I'm saving this thing so I can check it out and compare. Okay, so I closed the app. I unhooked the battery. 
And uh, this time I'm going to write PCM with the file that I created. It is weird doing this through the phone. Okay. Clone PCM, and now I have to find. Here we go. So, forty-eight hundred five-speed Beretta bin. That's the one that I did before. Getting ready. You can tell I've done a few tunes on this before since the first thing that pops up in my suggested is what we need to flash this thing. And that's in there basically just make sure you don't do this on accident. Warning. Yep, I understand. Okay. Flash starting. Okay, ready to be flashed, don't turn off, blah, blah, blah. Well, you should actually read that stuff before you do it. I've done this a hundred times, though. There we go, 1%, 2%. And it will take about 10 minutes to do this, too. Uh, but after this 10 minutes is up, this uh, 4.8 auto uh, PCM that I have here will work for a 4.8 with a 5-speed with a car intake manifold and all that stuff. Flash success. Now to turn the key off and still have power to it gets a little bit tricky uh, since my connector came apart here. I used to be able to just unplug that. Um, so I'm going to need two hands to do that and just hold my alligator clip on this lead and pull this one off. Um, and then uh, this uh, PCM will be ready to go. So here's that freshly tuned computer hooked up. Factory fuse block. There is the battery positive, battery negative. Um, I got everything all plugged in and ready to go on this. Fuel injectors, all that stuff. I do have to lengthen the cam position sensor wire uh, because this little wide junction is like way up here sorry <laughs> like way up here on the uh, truck harness um, and I went underneath the throttle body with it keep everything clean um, but uh, yeah this thing is ready to go I'm gonna throw it on the engine stand I gotta grab some bolts in order to do that um, but uh, yeah, give it some fuel and uh, it's ready to rock.